All right, Scorpio Horizons, um, you guys have something about your old, your eyes. There's something with your eyes, Scorpio Risings. It's almost like um, it's almost like people peer. You know, it's almost like you're peering into people's souls and shit. People are just magnetically drawn to you. And this is also um, for Moon and Scorpio too. If you have Moon and Scorpio, people are just naturally drawn to you, and a lot of times you attract the lower nature of people because the lower nature in them is what they need to transform. But there, there, there's, there's an attachment to you um, based off of their lower nature. So you're a reflection of someone else's lower nature. Second house is Sag. You're a giver. Jupiter is on the second. There's lessons with relationships here. This is why Libra is in the 12th house. And you probably like to spend on other people more than you like to spend on yourself. Remember, when you give, when you give more and you take less, what are you gaining? You're gaining spiritual wealth. Ah, you're gaining spiritual wealth. When you give more and you take less, you gain spiritual wealth, especially when you give and don't expect anything in return. Aries on the sixth house, you got to give yourself away. Give yourself away so that way you can learn your lessons when it comes to relationships and you allow yourself to transform. You know, a lot of times Scorpio Risings change schools a lot or, um, but these people are forever a student. They love research. They're forever a student. Um, very serious minded. A lot of times they're the odd one in the family, the Scorpio Risings. They're the odd one in the family. They're, 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 they're really misunderstood a lot. Um, and a lot of times they find it useless to explain themselves. You know, it's like, uh. Why am I explaining this to you? Like, it's not like you even get it, you know, or, or you say that because you feel like they don't get it. Fourth house Aquarius, you feel at home with rebels. You feel at home with people who are out of the ordinary. You feel at home with people who are weird, you know. Uh, this, this suits you. Like I said, you're Capricorn third house. You're misunderstood. So you fit in better with people who are weird or unorthodox or eccentric. A lot of times you make sacrifices for your children sacrifices for your children how many scorpio risings are making sacrifices for the children huh notice that a lot of times scorpio risings especially with fifth house placements or any kind of aspects to the moon and uh and venus and saturn you'll see that there's reproductive issues there's there's missed periods there's there's ovarian cysts um there's miscarriages there's um high hormone levels there's um increased blood flow there's all kinds of stuff um you just like i said you know uh, <laughs> you really got to look at the placements. You know, this is just going off of Scorpio rising here, but you're, you know, Aries on the sixth house, you are an extremely hard worker. And with Mars being the ruler of your, of your sixth house, you don't want anyone not working as hard as you do. And you don't like when your work is going unnoticed. You can be really critical of coworkers or always feel like you know better. And then you're going to demonstrate it. This is how you do it. I know how to do it. I'm going to show you. And Scorpio Risings should not be working for anyone else. And if they are, they should be in delegation. They should be delegating. Six House Aries is an army leader. These two are the battlefields. Aries is the battlefield in the world. Scorpio is the battlefield on the inside. Love is a battlefield. Right? Love is a battlefield. This is why your relationship sign is in the 12th house. It's hiding. A lot of times when you have Aries on the 6th house, you're a life coach. You're a life coach. You, you do fitness. Because you know what to do. You know how to transform. I know how to transform, so I'm going to transform you. It's very easy for you to pass judgment. Because remember, the 8th house is other people. Uh, other people's stuff. Other people's thoughts and opinions, and you know, etc. Gemini is communication. I communicate what I think about other people's shit. I got Virgo in the eleventh house. I'm very critical when it comes to humanity and what I feel about its imperfections. So when you're Scorpio rising, it's hard for you to face mistakes.
It is hard for you to face mistakes. And a lot of times, instead of you taking the blame, you'll pass it on to somebody else. You'll pass judgment a lot. You can project your guilt onto others because it is difficult to face. You see? So when you have cancer in the house of higher education, you are a teacher naturally because you have a natural understanding of things. And you feel other people's reactions. You feel other people's perspectives almost where you know what to give people. You have this psychic awareness to what the public needs or what the public wants. Really uh, picky when it comes to friends too. So when you got Virgo on the, uh, on, this, on the 11th house, a lot of times you have a small circle of friends. Very picky. But it can also lead to gossiping with your friends too. Too much gossiping. Like I said, you got Gemini on the 8th house. I have something to say about everybody else's shit. <laughs> Scorpio risings and gossip. I have something to say about everybody else's stuff. And I know what to do for all my friends. A lot of times they come to you because they know that. This is why you have cancer on the ninth house. You have an understanding perspective. That understanding perspective and that controlled, um, that, that controlled um, uh, communication is allowing you to speak what you think about everybody else's stuff and a way for you to kind of, you know... Uh, Pick and choose what's needed as far as friends go and the way that you relate to them. So then you got 12th house Libra. Like I was saying throughout this whole entire thing with Scorpio Horizons, um, you know, relationships are key here. And you really, once again, got to check your Venus in your chart. You're, there's, there's, if you're a Scorpio Rising, chances are your Venus is being afflicted because you have Venus ruling your 7th house and Venus ruling your 12th house. The uh, uh, Taurus rules, um, I'm sorry, 7th house rules open enemies, 12th house rules um, secret enemies.